trust me do not skip this video okay for your sake do not skip you clicked on this video today to get the best jump shot for your build and your quick draw and your player in today's video i will be giving you a lot of jump shots the best non-custom and custom jump shots for every quick draw i'm talking no quick draw bronze silver gold and hall of fame and i will be giving you the best tips and tricks to improve your shooting the best settings in nba 2k20 to use for shooting and i guarantee you if you watch this video the whole way through you will learn a lot that you didn't know before and you will come out with a jump shot for your player if you have any questions after watching this video make sure to dm me on twitter or instagram or come to my streams on twitch which is every single night and shoot me a question but let's get straight into this banger man let's get it i was just down bad last week now they won't come around remember rolling special sour we were smoking pounds on the app that shit was daily shit got lonely now it's funny how they talk about me when i'm not around see on my back it is a target gotta watch my life Thinking twice when I step out the crib, they want my life. Remember why we died. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Henry, aka WHD, and I'm back in the building with yet another hey, yo, bang. What the and I'm not gonna lie, bro, I'm really good at shooting in this game. And ever since I put on a couple of these jump shots that I've been using lately, I've been getting more wins, I've been shooting more grains, I've been repping up a little faster, and overall, I've just been becoming a better player at NBA 2K20. I mean, you can see by the gameplay yourself. I mean, look, the bank is open, you see I'm shooting bulls. I'm doing pretty good, a little cross, a little hesitation, and you know what I do after that? You know, pretty good, I ain't gonna lie to you. At least sometimes. <laughs> now, let me stop, y'all. Let's get serious right here, okay? We're gonna go over four different things in this video. First of all, the best settings for shooting in this game, the best shooting tips, the best shooting badges, and then the best jump shots for all quick draws, custom and non-custom jump shots. Now, before we get into the four steps, I'm gonna just tell you guys a couple different things you should know about jump shots in NBA 2K20. Your quick draw level, anybody can get at least gold quick draw. There's only certain builds that can get Hall of Fame quick draw, and you have to have green in your pie chart. To be honest, quick draw is all personal preference, but I would always max out the quick draw to the max it can go to. So I would at least have gold quick draw, but we're still going to give you some jump shots no matter what your quick draw is. Because I know some of you only have one or two shooting badges, which means you can't get gold quick draw or even silver quick draw. But the higher the quick draw, the better. So you can get your shot off and people can't contest it, and for many other reasons. Now I'm going to be giving you guys non-custom and custom custom jump shots during this video. Now the difference between the two is custom jump shots you have to unlock in my career and non-custom jump shots you just get by default. To be honest, there's not really a difference between the two. There's not really one that's better than the other. It's all personal preference. It's not like custom jump shots actually green more than non-custom jump shots. So it's all personal preference. Something that's not personal preference is turning off your meter. And we will be talking about that later in the video. Another thing is when it comes to custom jump shots, a lot of these YouTubers be dropping videos of, oh, this is the best jump shot and the base is 98. And then they drop another best jump shot video and the base is 98 again. But the only difference between the two jump shots in those videos were the releases. But really those YouTubers are scamming you guys out of a jump shot because the releases have nothing to do with greening your shots. The releases one and two in the those custom jump shots are all just personal preference and are it only change the jump shot visually they don't change the green percentage the white percentage the make percentage they don't change any of that so release one and two is literally personal preference and it doesn't affect your jump shot at all except for visual another thing is you probably are wondering why should you listen to me i'm literally a no life on this game i basically play this game for a living okay as you can see by my record i have a 90 win percent i have over 10 thousand games played i have games played in rec park stage i've played in tournaments for money i've played the best some of the best players in the world and i'm the number one rep in the world right now i have probably one of the most games played on nba 2k20 in the entire world so i have the most experience especially with jump shots builds and different quick draws with these jump shots anyways guys let's get into the four steps to being the best shooter you can be on nba 2k20 okay for the first section to becoming a good shooter in nba 2k20 we're going to talk about the best settings you can use to shoot the ball in nba 2k20 so all you want to do is click the start button go over to the options slash quit section 
and then the first thing you want to go to is settings shot feedback shot feedback you want that on all shots okay this is so this is all also good for defense so you can see um the shot contest you're getting on shots you attempt and shots that you could test also you can mess with like the sound settings some people like to play with sound now it's sound. it's a preference next you're gonna want to go to the controller settings now in the controller settings we have two options the first two options we have vibration and shot mirror vibration you want to have on because if your vibration is on the your controller actually vibrates as soon as as you should be releasing your shot so I mean why not turn that on you there's just no point to have it off okay if it's on it tells you when to time the shot so you may as well have it on another thing is the shot meter a lot of probably at least 70% of you watching this video have a shot meter on okay now some of you guys are like oh I shoot better with my meter on I shoot better with my meter on but it is a proven fact by the person that actually cre creates this game that if you take off your shot meter, you actually get a 5% green light boost to your jump shot. So the only reason to have your shot meter on is because you can't time your shot without the shot meter on. Because there's no bonus to having a shot meter on. Shot meter on only gives you more whites and more misses. Having a shot meter off gives you more greens and you make more shots, okay? So think of it this way. If you have your shot meter on, it's like having your training wheels on your bicycle. You need the training wheels because you can't balance the bike yourself. You need the shot meter on because you can't time it without having a shot meter. It's basically the same thing. So try to get used to your shot meter. We're going to talk about more and later in the video how you can get used to having a no shot meter. But that's all for the settings for right now. So once again, make sure your vibration is on. Turn off your shot meter. Mess with the volume settings. You know, some people like playing with volume, volume on or off. You know, it's kind of just a personal preference. And also make sure you have shot feedback on. The shot feedback on is for all shots is very important as well. But let's get into the next section. Okay, guys, so the next section we're going to be talking about is shooting tips. So I'm going to be giving you guys a lot of tips on how you could just shoot better in general, get better at shooting, and just basically give yourself the chance to shoot the best you possibly can. So one thing you could do, as you can see over here in the park, is go buy boost. Now, here is the boost stand loaded in the park. It's right between the uh, Daily Spin and the Pro-Am Arena. And right here, you can buy boost for about, you know, a couple thousand BC, and you can buy jump shot boost. So make sure you buy jump shot boost. A lot a lot of comp players buy jump shot boost so they can shoot better now you see if i go to my progression and i go to my skill boost i actually have unlimited boost now there's a lot of ways you can win unlimited boost so you never have to buy them again you can either win one of these events which is either place top 10 in formula top 10 in gold rush top five in ruffles top 10 in boot camp top five in basketball guys if you place anywhere in one of those events you have the option of actually picking unlimited boost as one of your rewards another way you can win it and the last way you can win it is winning it off the bonus on the elite wheel once you hit elite one you can spin this wheel in the daily bonus and if you hit bonus you have a small chance at actually winning unlimited boots now as you can see back in those wheels i have a weekly workout thing and you see i have plus four to all these attributes when you hit superstar three you get the gym rat badge right here and you get plus four to all those attributes and as we know the more stamina the more speed you know it just helps us with shooting you know we'll have more energy available to shoot now speaking of energy gatorade as you can see this is where the gatorade facility is located in the park it's right at the end right before the team practice facility now if you go in here you should buy gatorade especially if you're a guard if you're running out of energy a lot it's a fact you can't shoot as good with low energy compared to full energy or at least a good amount of energy now this gatorade boost do get expensive so you can't buy all of them buy the blue one the, the blue one gives you the biggest portion of energy so just buy that one but this can get expensive the only way you can get unlimited gatorade is once again winning it off the bonus on the elite wheel which is very hard to do and very lucky now like i talked about earlier in the video with the shot mirror and how to get better at shooting this is the best way to get better at shooting and that way starts with going to the my core the my core is at the top right of the park that's where it is located you're gonna want to enter the my core go to the elevator click the my core and this is your my core now i have a pretty cool my core i have this big cool my court that you get at a, or unlock at elite one now before we get into any drills that i want to show you guys make sure you have your shot meter off because this is where you're going to practice how to shoot without a shot meter if you don't already and like we talked about earlier in the video the shot meter off is almost a must if you want to be a good shooter in nba 220 or even a better shooter 
so as you can see we are in the shoot around this is you know not the best drill i'm going to show you the best drill in a second to get better shooting but i'm going to basically show you guys when you should time your shot since you don't have a meter since most of you are used to just looking at the meter and timing it based off that we're going to look on how you can time your shot based off of not even looking at a meter so number one if you have vibration on like i said earlier you could just base it off of the feel of your vibration but sometimes the vibration doesn't always work so what you want to do is as you can see i'm going up for this jump shot right here there's different cues to look at for your jump shot besides just vibration and we don't have a meter so we can't look at that there's going to be two different cues now one of them is kind of like your hands and where the you know the ball position is so when the ball gets at the highest point in the jump shot that's when you want to release the jump shot okay so as you can see i'm going up for my jump shot right here is where i would release it because this is at the highest point my jump shot gets to right before basically right before i flick my wrist now the second cue is the feet now i don't really know how to explain this if you shoot a lot the micro you will understand but this is where i look for my jump shots when your guy jumps to a certain point based on what jump shot you have that's when you release it so basically if you're really used to your jump shot you can start looking at your feet it's kind of hard to explain it might sound a little weird but just try it put up like 30 to 50 shots and you'll understand what i'm saying but those are the cues when to release your jump shot now there is another drill right here this drill is called ball machine this is how you're going to become a great shooter in nba 2k20 is this ball machine all you have to do is you can basically shoot from anywhere if you click a if you're on xbox it'll just pass the ball right back to you so i'm going to give you guys two different drills to complete for this ball machine to get better with your jump shot the first drill is you're going to want to shoot from each um spot on the three-point line one from the corner the wing the top of the king the right wing and from the right corner your goal is the green five shots in a row from each spot okay once you complete that it might sound hard but once you get used to your jump shot it'll be easy if you do complete that then try to do 10 greens in a row from each spot okay once you get those drills down and you complete those challenges i guarantee you you're gonna be a very good shooter in the park and in the stage now a couple other things i want to mention before we are done with the shooting tips is don't give up on a jump shot a lot of you guys just continue to change your jump shot and you can't just keep changing your jump shot because you're never going to get used to it for me i've only used three jump shots this entire year and i over i have over ten thousand games played so just because you have a bad game with a jump shot or your jump shots is not falling stick with it okay keep practicing keep getting good because if your jump shot is one of the jump shots in this video it's a good jump shot you just got to get used to it so it's more it's most likely user error rather than it's just not a good jump shot okay so make sure you stick with your jump shot and don't give up on it now another thing is jump shots do not get patched i know a lot of you guys watching this video probably think jump shots do get patched and these youtubers tell you that these jump shots get patched but really these youtubers are just telling you that the, the jump shot has been patched just for an excuse to upload another jump shot video okay it has literally been confirmed that jump shots cannot be patched in 2k now a lot of you are going to disagree with me but it, it just is what it is it's a fact jump shots do not get patched there might be certain things in the game that get patched that might affect jump shots but jump shots themselves don't get patched so if you're having a sh bad shooting day don't say your jump shot got patched okay it's literally user error it's not the jump shot but anyways that's it for the tips so let's go over that once again you can buy boost buy gatorade turn off your shot meter do the drills and stay loyal to a jump shot and let's get into the next section so the next section is the best shooting badges now some of you guys may have one shooting badge and maybe even 40 shooting badges but i'm going to tell you in order what the best and most useful badges are in general i'm also going to link down below a full breakdown of shooting badges based off positions builds and all that stuff in the description that is basically a must watch if you really want to know all about these badges but basically really quickly now this build that i'm on right now has a 68 three-pointer and it only gets gold badges because it does not have green in its pie chart once again you can only get hall of fame shooting badges if green is in your pie chart so ignore whether my badges are on gold or hall of fame because i can only get them the gold so the most important shooting badge by far is quick draw you want to get your jump shot off as fast as possible if your jump shot is slower defenders can get to your jump shot faster which means they can also get higher contest 
fast on your jump shots, which means you can also miss more jump shots. The next badge I would get is Range Extender. The farther out you can shoot, the better player and the more threatening you are on the court. If you don't have Range Extender, you're basically gonna have to shoot the three-pointer right on the three-point line, which is not really what you wanna do. The next best shooting badge is Grain Machine, okay? Green Machine. If you grain one shot, green two shots, Green Machine is activated and your green window gets bigger. If you don't know what a green window is, it's basically the spot that you have to time your jump shot in is basically just easier. It's basically just easier to green shots when you have Green Machine activated. Hanzo Hunter is important for all builds and all three-point ratings, but it is even more important for players that have a lower three-pointer. So if you have your hot zones, you can get your hot zones by just shooting good in the park, then hot zone hunter is very deadly. Now those four badges right there are the main badges. The secondary badges, if you still have any shooting badges left to go over, you can equip dead eyes. So even if people close out on you, it doesn't affect you as much. Corner specialist. Now corner specialist is actually at its best at silver. Go watch my video. Like I said, the shooting badge video that explains everything about that. And then lastly, you can also do catch and shoot. Catch and shoot might be more important than some of these badges, depending on what your build is. But once again, go watch that shooting badges video but yeah these are the main badges that i would do there's other badges and other shooting badges that are good here it's just these are the best ones okay let's move on to the next section Okay, last but not least, we are going to go over the best jump shots in NBA 2K20. Now, I'm going to be giving you guys a lot of jump shots right here. I'm going to spread them out between guards, spot-ups, quick draws from none to hall of fame and non-custom and custom okay so we're gonna have a lot of options right here so when i say guards are spot up guards are people that run the one on the twos or you know are running the one on the threes basically the main ball handler and when i say spot up i mean that could be like a small forward a power forward or a center just someone that's sitting corner or someone that's setting screens basically now obviously those two things are personal preference based on what build you are another thing that's personal preference is quick draw but obviously the higher the better you kind of want your quick draw to be higher but some of you guys only have one shooting badge so i understand and another thing that's totally personal preference that people don't tell you is non-custom and custom jump shots some of you guys don't have custom jump shots even unlocked but even if you did and if you do custom jump shots don't like go in more than non-custom jump shots i said this in the beginning of the video it's basically just all personal preference between using a custom jump shot and a non-custom jump shot but we're gonna give you guys options for all of these so first let's start with no quick draw for no quick draw you don't even want to use a custom jump shot you don't even want it to make that difficult so don't even bother making a custom jump shot because there's not really any good custom jump shots with no quick draw you want to use non-custom jump shots so if you're a guard the best non-custom jump shot is jump shot 85 this jump shot is very fast so it makes up for you not having quick draw and it also is very easy to time other good non-custom jump shots for guards is Tony Parker and Trey Burke. I would recommend 85 first and then Trey Burke and then Tony Parker. Those, that's the list I would put them in. But once again, all three of these jump shots are very good and you can test out each and every one of them for no quick draw. And that's why you guys, we are giving you multiple options. Now for spot ups and centers, a non-custom jump shot, I wouldn't even go with Tony Parker. Either do jump shot 85 or Trey Burke. Either of those will work. And I actually use jump shot 85 a lot with no quick draw, especially on new builds and especially when the game dropped and I was going crazy with it with no quick draw. Now let's go into bronze quick draw. So for bronze quick draw, for guards, if you want to get a you can there's actually a good custom jump shot for guards and centers now this custom jump shot is jump shot 38 release one john wall release two kyle culver and then the blending is 75 john wall 25 kyle culver now this custom jump shot can be used on bronze quick draw on either guards spot up centers or you know anything so this works for both now when it comes to non-custom jump shots for bronze this also works for both guards spot ups and centers i would go with jump shot 85 or trey burke just like no quick draw they're both very good for low quick draw jump shots and make up for the speed now let's go to silver quick draw so for silver quick draw i wouldn't make this is another quick draw level where i wouldn't even bother going with a custom jump shot okay so don't even bother doing that there's three jump shots you could do for non-custom jump shots for silver quick draw that work both for guards spot ups and centers the best two are between jump shot 38 and jump shot 104 both of these are very consistent and very popular jump shots and jump shot 38 is one of the 
fastest jump shots in the game. Jump shot 104 is very is also very consistent on multiple quick draw levels. Another one, if you don't like either of those two, that you can use is Dante Exum. If you guys don't already know, Dante Exum is actually the jump shot I use on my perimeter locks, but I use it with gold quick draw. Once again, all these jump shots are good. I'm just giving you guys multiple options you can choose from because some of you guys just don't like how the jump shots look, or you're just you just can't shoot with that jump shot. For example, jump shot 38 is a very good jump shot, and I just can't use it. I just I don't know what it is. I just can't use it. Now let's go to gold quote quick draw. Now once again, this is another quick draw level where I wouldn't even bother making a custom. The only quick draw levels I would bother making a custom is obviously Hall of Fame and then Bronze Quick Draw. So for Gold Quick Draw, the non-custom jump shots that I would give you guys for guards is number one, Dante Exum. Dante Exum is so good on Gold Quick Draw. This is the jump shot I use and all the gameplay that you've been seeing in the background, This that's the jump shot I've been using on Gold Quick Draw and I have a 67 three-pointer shooting, the 67, 68 three-pointer shooting the ball consistently with that jump shot. Other good Gold Quick Draw jump shots for guards is jump shot 38 jump shot 104 which once again is very consistent on a lot of different quick draw levels and then zach levine so there's four great jump shots for gold quick draw for guards now if you're a spot up or a center gold quick draw i would either go with dante exum 38 or 104 or stephen curry stephen curry is actually a really good jump shot to use on a spot up center or guard it's actually very easy to time and very good now this is the only jump shot that i'm going to give out for positional wise now i know i didn't say stephen curry's a good gold quick draw for guards because it really isn't the only exception for this is if you're a pure sharp so if you have like a 95 or higher three pointer stephen curry is actually a very good jump shot to use on gold quick draw if you're a pure sharp if you're a pure sharp you can use curry on hall of fame so i don't know if i would really do that but if you rather have golden hall of fame quick draw and you're a pure sharp use stephen curry last but not least hall of fame quick draw we're going to start with the guards now we got a we got three different custom jump shots for you guys for hall of fame quick draw the first one is jump shot 98 release one stockton and release two stockton 50 50 blending now this jump shot is a very popular jump shot for guards and is a very very fast jump shot so if you want to get it off even faster than hall of fame quick draw then this is definitely the jump shot to go with another custom jump shot is 98 then release one larry bird release two larry bird and a 50 50 blending this is a very good jump shot if you like releases that have a high arc and it just looks really nice so if you're one of those guys that likes high arc releases and releases that go back far this is going to be the perfect jump shot for you as a guard another good hall of fame quick draw custom jump shot is jump shot 98 release one rudy gay and release two rudy gay somehow rudy gay found its way again into one of the best jump shots in nba 2k it always comes out to be one of the best jump shots and this is a good jump shot because it's just very easy to time so once again these are all three great custom hall of fame jump shots and i would try to test each in every one of them now non-custom jump shots for hall of fame guards the best one has to be jump shot 98 jump shot 98 is a very popular hall of fame non-custom guard jump shot i would recommend it highly also jump shot 104 works well and sometimes people that don't really like the way 98 looks Dwayne Wade is a very good secondary jump shot to that. Pure Dwayne Wade is also very nice. Now for you spot ups and centers out there, Hall of Fame quick draw. For a custom, there's only one custom I'm going to recommend, and it's very good. We talked about Stephen Curry earlier, and this one has Stephen Curry in it. So the base is going to be Stephen Curry, release one Rudy Gay, release two Rudy Gay. This is a very nice looking jump shot. Very easy to green, very easy to time. Now, if you don't like that, we have a non-custom, we have two non-custom jump shots that I recommend for spot ups and centers on hall of fame quick draw and that's just straight up stephen curry which is once again stephen curry is a very nice spot up jump shot or jump shot 38 okay now once again all the jump shots that i mentioned from no quick draw the hall of fame quick draw are all very good jump shots okay i'm just giving you guys a lot of options and a lot of things to test now there might be some other jump shots that i didn't include that are also very good but they're not as good as these jump shots and they don't have as high green percentages and just make percentages as the jump shots 
I listed. And if you do really want to make a custom jump shot for the quick draws that I said you don't really need to, then you could take the bases I gave you and pick different releases between 1 and 2. Like I said earlier in the video, releases 1 and 2 are basically just personal preference. And if you guys have any questions on anything I went over in this video, make sure to DM me on either Instagram, double H underscore DF, Twitter, double H underscore YT, or my Twitch, which is just double HDF, no spaces. I stream on Twitch every single night, so make sure to come through. I also stream on YouTube on days that I don't upload, so make sure you guys turn on post notifications. And hopefully this video will help you out. Make sure to rewind, come back to this video anytime you need help with shooting. Make sure to drop a like on this video if this video helped you out at all in any kind of way. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. We're on that 200k grind. Share this video with your friends. Let's get everybody better at shooting in NBA 2K20. Hopefully this video helped you out a lot. It's been your boy Henry, aka Double H D F man. And I'm out, y'all. Peace. I ain't never had no friends. I was all alone. She ain't never called my phone. She left me on my own. They say all girls are the same. Proud that I'm my dog. She said, Can you stay with me? Now I got a girl. Diamond dripping off my neck. It's wet. I'm about to flex up on my.